I'm going live to on all platform. Uh, Hi everyone, welcome to Center of Balance live. I'm Sunam Pua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist. Now, today's topic is about uh, acupressure point <laughs> for female infertility. Acupressure point for female infertility. Right. Um, so we're gonna talk about acupressure point for infertility, which means you can do it at home. Your or your patient can do it at home if you're a practitioner in here. Okay. Um, so what do we do? We do this. Moxie brushing in here. So acupressure point, you can apply um, different thing on it. It can be moxie brushing stick, it can be um, oops. Right. Let me make sure this is not plugged into my computer. Right. Okay. So, um, hi everyone. Hi Eric. Uh, hi, happy day. Happy day. And Veronica, good morning. I'm good, thank you. I'm going. I'm um, good. I'm good. Um, so today topic we're going to talk about acupressure point for infertility uh, female infertility and when it comes to female infertility you may find a lot of um, uh, female they uh, suffer from infertility and they have a common symptom cold what extremely cold you know cold in here and here Hands and legs and toes and foot, you know, <coughs> cold. But they may feel hot flushing on the face. Yeah, they may feel uh, feeling hot all the time or thirsty all the time. But often, hands are cold. They are few, you know, not a lot. Few that get warm hand and warm feet. Not a lot. Okay, and that's a different situation. So most of them get cold and most of them get period pain. As I say this um, when female come for infertility and you ask them about period and they have PMS and just about most of them think about PMS normal. You know why they think about PMS normal? Because most people get it. Most people suffer from it. It's common to get PMS, to get cramp, lower back pain while you have a period, while you're bleeding or before that. So it's very common and it make people think that's normal. Oh, it's normal. My mom get it. Oh, it's normal. My sister get it. Oh, it's normal. My, all my friends got it. Everyone get the same symptom doesn't mean everyone all of you are in the group in the same group and that group called normal group. <laughs> that group actually called abnormal group. Does it make sense to you? I will ask my patient this way. Well do you are you telling me that um, your experience of the pain and cramp while you period or before your period it's normal because everyone get it and in your family everyone every single one in your family get it and your friend all get it um, all suffer from this symptom and you're telling that me it normal but there are some people that when they have their period they don't feel anything they don't have cram no PMS before or during period are you telling me that those people are at normal and you guys suffer from it, you are normal, right? And then they, <laughs> most of the time, they, they don't know how to answer it. If I ask this question, they don't have to. I said, well, just because you suffer from it, just because all of you are normal, uh, too many people suffer from it, it doesn't mean you normal. It's an abnormal symptom, abnormal condition, 
while you get your period and you're suffering all, all this uh, uh, symptom right you if you come up with any patient talking about period pain they will say that's normal I got it my grandma got it doesn't make sense so you need to explain to them let them understand why I said normal right so then you take the chance to explain to them the organs theory according to Chinese medicine this is how I do right right then let's keep focus on our acupressure point now the acupressure point now it means as an acupuncturist if an acupuncturist you can show your patient that's something to do at home and some patient really ask me what can they do at home um, uh, for infertility treatment yes there are a lot of things that you can do at home okay so acupressure point is one of the things acupressure is one of the things so I recommend for everyone it doesn't need to um, a doctor things like that to tell you how to do it and when you watch this video you can do it yourself okay the simple point for you is on a kneecap uh, on a kneecap then uh, you have triangle in the kneecap like this triangle for the on the inside of the ankle right so about about four fingers from here above right so this is the outside this is stomach maria and when you do it inside inside of the sheer high point the four finger and get the most sensitive one and press it and rub it for one to two minutes once i will do you can alternate alternate okay one or two minutes okay normally i ask them if i if they uh, a lot of point i ask them to do one minute daily all the point all together okay so one minute in here right and this point you can do acupressure point and do suddenly it's over here lower down here I'm going to show you where the point is which point that you can do uh, acupressure point do suddenly right so it's on the knee under the kneecap and there's a hollow in here and about four finger below the hollow and that is about two knees so stomach 36 and get your finger down there and rub on it the second point and third point it's here three fingers on this level it can be up here can be in the middle can be in here and up one level one two three and three figure in here right and lower one level okay on this area you get nasty point if they get one sensitive point you work on one and get two sensitive point you get work on two just use a knuckle you can use a knuckle you can use mesh device to press it because you need your fingers to press on that but if they become a lot of point I suggest you do your knuckle because if you use your hand you may get hurt in your uh, joint okay just like this yeah. simple first detect the point like, oh I've got quite sensitive in here it's not with you on the middle it's actually on the side okay does it make sense to you All right another one is this is pericardium 6 stomach 36 right. and level uh, last impression 4 so with that one you do this matching with this see and match this crease with this crease match it together and put it like this now if you do this you may feel it but even strong one put your forefinger holding your hand like this and press it like this and especially you pull it to the bone make the double bone and you feel more sensitive and this point I will always suggest my patient go from here down to here from here down to here okay at this point I suggest my patient to do it before ovulation not after ovulation why is that 
because if you may pregnant already this point will lead or push the baby out so it may lead to uh, miscarriage so particularly when you ask a patient to do that oh and you're watching this video you do this you do it before ovulation or while you have the period okay now before ovulation is much safer after ovulation we don't suggest you do it okay and by the way so it's fine and what else um, bum, bum, bum. over here four fingers above the uh, ankle bone okay four fingers above the ankle bone uh, over here and then right after the shin bone and you go palpitate and get the most sensitive one and work on it about one minute okay this is uh, spleen six sun in gel okay so there are the po a lot of point one two three four five five points already and on here again this point do it before period I know before ovulation not afterward okay so those are the point that everyone can do it uh, it, it suits for any cases of um, uh, infertility situations. Okay, the we you may find it while well, we use spleen six, level four, and stomach thirty six. Why do we use those? This can be done for any kind of disease because according to balance method acupuncture, those three points can cover all organ function. That is why I make it into a home program video called 3 to 1 um, acupressure program. And with our 3 to 1, 3 to 1 acupressure program, every of my patients get a video to show them how to do acupressure point as well as how to breathe properly. Breathing, abdominal, abdominal breathing. Why breathe so important? As I said, if you have a theory of health, if you know how to keep yourself well, if you know the theory, then you have the method. If you don't have the theory, don't, you don't have the principle, you don't know how to treat, how to keep you well. My principle and theory are that with gold without blood, you can't heal. And what is in the blood that help you heal? Nutrient and oxygen. And oxygen. When it comes to oxygen, you want to get your lung function to better and you want to practice your breathing. Because more, most people breathe through just chest. <laughs> you know? And you need to use your abdominal to breathe. You need to practice it. That's why we put it in the video in 3, 2, 1. And what, one is one abdo um, abdominal breathing, two was two, two legs exercise. Uh, you don't, don't you tell me that I walk a lot every day at work? It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Exercise, you have to do just exercise, okay? You need to take the time for it. And then acupressure. So, in this program, it helps a lot of people get better and for the maintenance as well. Then, on top of uh, three points for general health, then we put on spleen six, shear high. Right, spleen six and shear high. So those two points. Then, I'll t let me show you how to do uh, 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 moxibustion. So without acupressure point, like this point you can do acupressure point, right? And this point we do after ovulation, you don't do it, right? You you don't do um, acupressure point, for it, right? You do moxibustion. So moxibustion, the first point I will introduce in here. We below belly button it can be two and a half fingers or three fingers to five fingers okay five fingers guan yun and five fingers below here below belly button so about five fingers from belly button down there approximately right okay so that's guan yun and between guan yun and belly button halfway there's qi high so those points those two points so i normally just use guan yun or qi high or both okay uh, Guan Yun is the first uh, um, choice, and so like the Moxibashan, I use uh, 
smoke less moxibustion in general and this is causing a lot of smoke and it smells like marijuana but it's not it's called moxa okay so you light it and then you get a patient put in tummy and locate the point and doing this pop wine and you feel the heat you can take it out a little bit it's just a certain uh, level how close to, to the tummy and it's keep in there and keep moving it or four for blood circulation in here for energy for warming okay hand and uh, feet will get warmer and warmer okay just do this then and when it's getting hot you can up and down up and down or go sideways when it's not too hot now and because it will stay in one point it get hotter and hotter and when it's get hotter you take it out a little bit so don't close don't put it closer to your tummy that, that close okay lift it up and keep doing it okay this point one or two minutes it can be three to five minutes if you wanted to if you have time because this point is very important then the rest of it the sheer height is good for one minute sun in gel is good for another minute and ju sun is another minute then ne guan another minute and Herku another minute again. Herku, I don't suggest you to do it after um, ovulation, even moxibustion. But moxibustion on signing gel is no problem, even after ovulation. Okay, why is that? Because signing gel is narrowing the blood rather than the qi. And Herku. Between herku and sanin jiao, one is qi point, one is um, blood point. When we come, when it come to um, female fertility, you want to increase blood and not increasing the amount of qi. Okay, when qi more than blood, cause miscarriage. When blood, blood more than qi, it keep the baby well. Does it make sense to you? This is according to continuity. Right, that's it. This is the moxibustion and acupressure point for today. I better go because I have a patient in uh, 20 minutes. So I have to tidy up and then go out and drive for about 5 minutes into my clinic and for my patient. Okay, if you have any question, put it down there. Now, if you're a patient of us, um, you will come to, you know, come to our clinic and to ask for this we sell this in our clinic okay and anyone can get it you know um, or you can call and email us and, and then pay online and we will uh, send you over and charge for the career fee as well right stay awesome and I love you all I'll see you tomorrow so this topic is about acupressure point and moxibustion for infertility treatment. Now, if you are one of a patient or you know someone need infertility treatment, get out to call us or give our details to us or share this video with them so they can do something for themselves. Stay awesome. I love you all. Bye bye.